Welcome back guys, today I'm going to show you how I draw fires in D&D battle maps or simply town illustrations. As you can see I'm zooming in to let you see the final result and uh, we're gonna work on creating the fire and the light source that it creates. So let's get into it. Okay, first of all I need to explain to you that I usually draw the day version of my map before. What I do later is I simply open my layer options and as you can see I have many of them, I create a layer called the night and I set it on multiply and once I've created it I simply select a blue color and I drag it on my map. As you can see now it's night time, what I want to do is also lower the opacity to let the players see actually what they are using and uh, this is the result for the night version. But we are not satisfied with it, we want to also place bonfires or little uh, additions. As you can see I've created a layer underneath uh, the night layer you want to set it to normal, you want to grab a very basic brush to just draw the pieces of wood um, that we're going to put underneath our bonfire. Wood or stones, whatever you prefer, it's uh, your bonfire. As you can see, I'm not even putting too much effort into creating uh, the perfect shape for the wooden pieces because they will be mostly covered by the fire, so don't worry about it. Keep it very simple, I just want to show you how everyone can actually do it. We now want to fill the color in and uh, as you can see I made a big mistake because I left a space open and uh, so be sure to close every figure and uh, now I corrected it and we are ready to place the bonfire. I am now grabbing on the same layer a soft brush and uh, a red color. I am putting it to 1% and you simply want to sketch out a um, kind of wild shape for the fire. Keep in mind that it's a fire so it can go anywhere and uh, Remember to go wild with it. Once you are satisfied with the base of your bonfire, you want to grab a yellow, always with a soft brush, and simply fill in everything you have already drawn with the red color. And don't worry if it doesn't look too good, because the next trick will be the game changer for your bonfire. As you can see, I'm skipping to the night layer, the one I set it to multiply. I'm grabbing the rubber and what we will do is actually delete the filter we have applied. And this will create this uh, light effect. At this point, you want to play with pressure and uh, try to find the amount of light you want your bonfire to be emitting. And uh, as you can see, it's already kind of alive. But to create even more immersion, you want to even draw the light source all around your bonfire in a circular motion as I am doing right now to create even more immersion and make the players or the readers or whatever person will look at your map feel like the bonfire is actually illuminating the whole uh, scenario. This uh, next step is not mandatory but I simply wanted to try to uh, blend in the light coming from the fire with the scenario and uh, you'll see the final result and you can easily choose if you prefer it or not. It was just uh, an experiment. We are not satisfied with it so we also want to add a reflection of the light because the light is going to bounce on objects, remember that. So what I'm doing now is simply color a little bit of this rock to remind people that you know the light is actually there and I'm blending it as well to keep the, the same style. And this is it, more or less. This is the final result. It's a very simple trick and uh, anyone can do it. And I'm gonna show you the whole map. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. And let me know if you'd like to see more tutorials on Procreate for uh, creating new stuff. And uh, thanks for watching.